Today, me and the boys decided to build a sky base, and to make the challenge even harder, we decided to build it above launch site. Today, we're on a vanilla 2x, and our goal is to build a sky base. Sky bases are actually a really old concept in Rust, but what makes this base really special is the fact that it actually goes in the sky, and far higher than the building limit in Rust. If you're wondering what the building limit is, it's the maximum height you can build using foundations, walls, and stuff like that. So you can't go any higher. If you try building there, it will just break immediately. And the item we use to pass the building limit is the RF Broadcaster. It is a pretty old glitch, but recently my friend Gabe found a way to angle the broadcasters that you can actually walk on them comfortably. And with this glitch, you can go as high as you want. For anyone wondering what's happening in the background, I'm trying to get away from a roof camper. My goal is to get to launch site because that's where I'm going to build our base. I've done some fast traveling and now we're at launch. I'm going to get some resources to build the base. You can also get guns out of toolboxes. I know, you can get them in the normal ones as well. Like P2 and shit, you know? The back of launch and I'll start building a base. After gathering all these resources, I decided to go recycle since my inventory was clogging up. Okay. At one point, I also decided to go look for a good spot to build a base, and I wanted the base to be as close to launch site as possible. It's kind of cringe how it is. Come on, man. Alright, we can do it, but it's kind of, we just have to get a bit like more blocks to get Dude, We can build a little bit of like a stone tower. Uh, bruh. want to build here, but can't. Like, we want to build exactly here. Oh! <gasps> we can? How? Wow. Wow. Look at that. Your screen? Oh my. We got lucky as fuck. That. We got the exact position we wanted. Wow. Maybe we can do a little higher. Maybe. Come on, God, be with me. Oh shit, we can't. Wait, hold up. I got it for a second. All right, that's good. I don't have wood right now, but that is gonna be the spot. I did another recycle run, and me and my teammate Stacy decided to build two bases. One for the sky base, and one for our main. So we'll restore loot and stuff like that. Since the sky base was gonna be a bit difficult to access, if you know what I mean. What the fuck is devious, man? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what check, is that? Check the check trash. Oh fuck, I need, to, I need to make a... I got 11 check trash already. <laughs> Bruh. 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 I'm going to explore some more monuments to get more tech trash. But let's talk a little bit more about the server. We're playing Stevius because it's a lot easier to get tech trash. But that's not the only reason. There's currently around 20 players in the server. And if you're wondering why do we have such a low pop server, it's because when testing out the sky base technique, I realized that breaking the broadcaster takes only 8 bullets. So if someone just wants to break it, they could and the whole thing would collapse. Another thing is, the whole thing would cost us around 10k scrap. 10k scrap, since one tech trash is like 20 scrap. But you don't find it all. If you want to buy it, it's going to cost us around 40k scrap from outpost. So it's just a lot smarter to go on a 2x vanilla. Any anything worst, anything higher than that would be pretty boring in my opinion. We should probably look for maybe raids or like DKs. Where we live right next one. We should look for DKs. I'm guessing. Get a mini. Look for DKs. Yeah. You can get a mini copter really easily. All right, we have a stash. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Talking about DKs, I found a DK. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. Dude, the loot you can find on like a 40 server is crazy. So, we did a little bit of mining off camera. After receiving the major bag from Outpost, I went to do some more puzzles, and after that, I made my way to Outpost. My goal in Outpost was to find the cheapest trash trash there is, and to also get a mini. 
Oh shit, this might actually give me a tech trash, hold up. Oh bruh. Night vision is T50, scrap. I checked the price of recycling it and it wasn't worth it. It's too expensive in my opinion at least. What the fuck this give this gives me tech trash? Yo, I might have found something. Hold up, let me check this. Eventually I stumbled my way here to the RF pager. Turns out it's probably the cheapest thing you can buy. It costs 75 scrap for one tech trash and 5 metal frags, which is decent I guess. Anyway, to speed up the process of getting scrap, I wanted to try something new. I decided to go buy a mini and go look for decay bases. So instead of finding a box of guns, I was hoping to find a box of comps. What? See? Oh, never mind. I thought you were about to crash. Holy shit, you actually found a loot bag. <laughs> Wow, it's loaded. No, Stacy, it's not loaded. It's fucking trash. No. Mini copter on that roof. Do you want to yank that? Yeah. Can you? I don't think there's shirts. Yeah, I can steal that. Easy. Two. Grab some from the back. Yeah. Great. Do you have low grade? They have low grade. Really? Both of them? Yeah, both of them. 250 each. I put a marker so we know we're getting another mini. That was a good catch. Let's go, another mini. Alright, what do you got here? What? <gasps> Wait, meet your bagler? About you again, don't get blown by Shadgar. Oh this my guy. god. Ooh. Yeah. Holy shit. If you recycle and sell all that, you get Oh up. shit, this is actually a major bag alert, you're right. As much as I was hoping to get some decent comps, it was all suing kids and some guns and stuff like that. Pretty much junk, nothing that I really needed. And I didn't feel like recycling the suing kids either because I don't think it's worth the time. So, that was a massive L. I had to think of something else. But, for now, I decided to start building the sky base, and this is how it went. Sam? <laughs> I'm sorry, you are my friend. I lied to you, down. Am I happy? Bruh. Bruh. I have to restart my game. To make your mom happy? You know the bug where like you were just frozen in this place, can't do anything, mm -hmm. and you just spin around and I hate it so much? It rarely happens, so it's so annoying. I agree. It is so It always annoying. happens whenever you're about to do something. Yeah, honestly, I feel like, uh... Something, I guess. I have enough wood, I have enough wood. I'm leaving you. Oh, this is the limit, this is the max limit. That's actually oh, I'm quite high. Can you get me uh what? No, one of these what's it called doors? So at this point I kind of realized I'm a dumbass, since you couldn't actually place the roof on top of this triangle. And I tried breaking it, the triangle, maybe going down a layer or two, but it still didn't work. And there was no way I'm going to build a separate tower, it would be a waste of resources and time. Um, forget about it. Anyway, so for a couple minutes I thought Gabe lied to me, you can actually place it on a roof, oh, fuck. even test it on a private server. But my dumbass realized I just wasn't trying hard enough. The placement has to be pretty accurate. Now, all right. I had to do was to build this goddamn bridge. Let's go, boys.
we may have discovered a big problem. Uh, the broadcasters are decaying, and the amount of metal it takes is quite expensive. I should be honest, within that speedrun montage you just saw, there was around 2 hours of repairing, and we were running out of metal. It went from costing 1.6k to 3 to 5k every 20 to 30 minutes, so I had to figure out something quick, and the only idea I had was raiding a base. I saw this base while I was doing my trips from airfield to outpost, recycling and getting tech trash. And I saw it was decaying, but it hadn't fully decayed, the front doors were still on. So I thought it was worth raiding. I didn't bring that many explosives with me, only a stack of ammo, a couple C4 and some rockets. So I had to be pretty careful here. Started off by shooting down the window frame and then blowing up the door with a C4. Oh no fucking way. Holy sh oh my god. What the fuck? Eh? Um You seriously no metal frags though. Out of the front door so no one else would come in here and try to fight me. Let's go. I'm gonna raid this as well. Does this just go up? Oh my god, god bless mama. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What the fuck? I do agree, this is a major bag alert moment. I went to recycle all of this and got around 300 tech trash, which was supposedly enough to finish the base. The middle situation kept getting worse and worse. You can see I have free key middle here, but at the end of this, I don't have any at all pretty much. I gave a few metal frags to my teammate. This doesn't do much though. I'm at the top and I'm out of metal frags. I'm really racing against time right now. The only thing that can save me is getting this base up really quickly so I can make the launch jump. We're currently around 10 hours in and we're gonna attempt our first jump into launch site. So while we're falling here, I may as well explain what do we want to do. We want to actually build above launch site, since the launch site hitbox, the monument's hitbox, is small enough that we can go above it, you know. So we ran out of metal and we decided to remove everything and start from zero again. The thing we changed is the angle. This will make it a bit easier to get to the top. Just a little bit cheaper. Uh, why am I doing this? I'll be honest, at this point, I don't know what I'm going to show you. It's six hours of me building a new tower with my friend Fast. Like, holy, this took forever. The whole thing took me around 40 hours to get it done. And now, it's the final jump. It's what we've all been waiting for. We just want to jump inside launch site to get the juicy loot. Boys? I'm doing the jump. Are you doing it? I'm doing it. Uh, alright, uh, let's go check. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Before you do it, uh, let's see how fast. Oh my god. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, wait up, wait up. Uh, fast, shoot me now. It was sent so. Alright, boys, look. Miss. Wait. Oh, look, look, look. Alright, he has one more bullet, he has one more bullet. Don't miss. Ah, oh, you hit me. Oh, I wanted to be a headshot. Alright boys, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, you're definitely making it. Oh, you're definitely making it. Oh, you're definitely making it. Oh. <gasps> no! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? No! <laughs> Okay, we need we, we need to get the angle oh better. That's oh, by the way, the slow motion is also real time in Rust as well. This is not After Effects, so I'm actually going this slow in game. My 
make my way, way over right now. Oh shit, you jump? I made it! I made it! Did you make I made it? it! I made it! No fucking way! No I made it! Way. I made it! Good Holy shit! shit. Good shit. Holy <laughs> shit! It's all over! It. It's all over! It's all over! It's all over! I hit the wall. Remember, a subscriber a day keeps Rust Academy away.